So now let's just work on our sign in page that is the login page. So for that purpose let's just close all these things and we have to go to the authentication login screen and when the driver click on this button which is login then we have to implement a function which we will call that is validate the sign in form. So for that purpose as you know on the sign up screen we have that method uh, already which is validate form. So let's just copy this whole method from here and then on the login screen we can simply paste it just like this. And what we want to do we do not need this name text rating controller okay we just need the email one okay email and we need the password remove the phone also so if the email dot text dot contain if it does not contain at the right then display this toast message and here the password instead of checking the length as you know the password is already saved so instead of checking the length we can say that if this is not empty okay so we will simply say that password is required or you can say password is mandatory okay and then else if everything goes well then of course we will call a function which we will implement now come back here to the sign up screen and from here let's copy the this method which is save driver info now okay copy this whole method and just paste it here on the login screen now first of all change the name of this to login driver now and then in, in here first of all we have to tell that is using the show dialog which is our progress dialog processing please wait or you can say logged in lo login please wait okay and then here import the user which belongs to firebase auth dot dot and of course our firebase auth which belongs to the global dot dot and instead of create user with email and password we can simply say sign in with email and password okay just change this sign in with email and password so if everything goes well the user will be logged in that is authenticated else if error occur you will display that error and then as you know this is our login screen so we do not need to save any data so just remove this driver ma map and this reference to the real-time database okay just leave this so we will assign the Firebase user to our current Firebase user and we will say login successful otherwise if any error occur I mean if there is any problem we can say error occurred during sign in or I mean any message you want to display error occurred during login so yeah this is our login code so simple and so easy and of course after successful uh, login we will you know instead of directly sending the driver to the car info screen I mean of course we will go to the main screen I was about to tell but instead of say, uh, sending the driver to the main screen we will call our MySplay screen since you know on our MySplay screen we have added the validation so we just want to validate that the user is either logged in or not okay so that's why we write here MySplay screen and then on the sign up screen I want to change something here which is account has been created on the sign up screen okay we send the driver to the car info screen and then on the car info screen when the information the car details has been served successfully then instead of sending yeah here we have already we are sending the driver to the MySplay screen okay so I was just checking for it 
that is whether we are sending to the main screen or to the my display screen so my display screen is good if you remember basically on this display screen we have add this condition which will check that whether the driver is logged in or not okay so anyways now what we need to do this thing is important which is here we have added already okay that is to assign the firebase user to the current firebase user and then same goes here so we will do it on this play screen as well that is if the user is already logged in okay we will send to the main screen and then here we have to assign to our current firebase user that is f auth dot current user okay just like this so yes this is all about I mean the changes that we have to do now let's just restart the app and check our app if it is working or not so now let's just log in if I write incorrect password okay then it is not going to log in because we have provided to it the wrong password and also we have to display that error message and it is not showing because we have not called our this function okay so really sorry for that I forgot to call these so we can call here our login driver now okay if the conditions are satisfied then this one will be executed and login dri driver now method will be called and then this validate form we have to call it when the driver click on the button which is here okay validate form so now just restart the app and let's click on login and here you can see password is required first of all make sure to restart the app from here and now let me just write here john at the red gmail.com first of all I'm going with the wrong password okay and let's see the behavior of the app so password is required it says okay let me check the conditions have we done something wrong okay sorry instead of is not empty make sure to use is empty that is if the password is empty then show this message similarly if this sign is not if at the date is not contains in the email then email is not valid okay make sure to do these changes and then hot restart and if I click here then you can see error the password is invalid or the user does not exist so you have to correct the password now this time I'm going to write the correct password okay and I'm going to add a gmail I mean the user who is not even exist so I will for example ytre at the red gmail.com let's just click on login and here you can see there is no user record corresponding to this email so yeah everything is working fine now let's write the correct email click on login login successful and here we go here you can see it okay so it is working fine 